10,000, 10, 20,000 feet above the path Columbus took, first by BOAC, then by BWIA. That's the modern way to the Caribbean. Trinidad, in the drum beats of its ritual dances, is the spirit of distant Africa. Minutes away by air from the South American mainland, centuries away in its traditions, Trinidad is the foremost of the Caribbean islands, the first stop in our flying visit. lush jungles to the peace of Trinidad's lazy beaches, the gentle swaying of its palm trees, undulating silhouettes against the ever clear skies. Simplest, of course, of this island's produce is the coconut, the source not only of food, but of mats and mattresses, upholstery and soap, while inland pitch and petrol make the island rich enough to afford this peace. Everywhere the beauty and brilliant sun of the tropics that bid us linger at every stage of the world's most perfect island hopping holiday. Jamaica, where those with an eye for hidden beauty can look through a boat's glass panel as through a window at the exotic sea gardens of Montego Bay. Castles of living coral climb from the seabed almost high enough to scrape the bottom of the boat. Hung with the sea fans or feathers strewn about the bed, the corals stand out in their brilliant colours. Fish are caught with such unlikely bait as red bananas, grasshoppers and avocado pears. Strange bait, strange catch. Barracuda, pompano, yellowtails. For the souvenir hunter, the Jamaican boatman will gladly dive into the bay to rescue, with great discrimination, some exquisite piece of coral. Tobago. Caribbean island where Robinson Crusoe lived in Defoe's immortal tale. Here, fittingly, marine pleasures take a more adventurous turn. Underwater goggles allow a closer look at the hidden wonders of Bucko Reef, while a harpoon gun is the modern lightweight weapon in a very skillful form of fishing. skies, sun-warmed seas, scenery of incredible beauty. These are the unspoilt charms of the Caribbean Isles. To tour these islands, to explore their landscapes and their coral reefs, is to enjoy an unforgettable experience. To slide into their clear waters is to be dazzled with the flashing glints of thousands of fish of every colour. the simplest and most natural of pleasures are the moments the tourists can treasure for a lifetime, souvenirs of an idyllic peace. The towns on the Caribbean islands are a quaint mixture of old and new, in their architecture, in the dress of their inhabitants, and in their modes of transport. Quaint, but happy places too, for the islanders enjoy a security and social freedom hard to match anywhere in the world. From this freedom springs a natural dignity which shows even in their bearing. This is Bridgetown, capital of Barbados, 
where the ghost of British naval tradition walks abroad in the nautical style of the policeman's dress. Styles of dress and local skills like the potter's craft are handed down from generation to generation. And now Granada, the Isle of Spices. Nutmegs and other spices go from here to most parts of the world. In the seas around Barbados and Granada and the other Windward Isles operates the flying fish fleet. The flying fish swim at the surface of the sea, leaving the water when pursued by larger fish. The flying fish propels itself out of the water with vigorous thrusts of its tail, then uses its fins to glide through the air. When the momentum is spent, it drops back to the water and sculls, then shoots ahead for a new flight. Five thousand, ten, twenty thousand feet above the path Columbus took. This is the way of the modern explorer. The way to tour the beautiful, fascinating islands of the Caribbean. By air then, back to Trinidad to end our flying visit on the throbbing note of a steel band's music.